How's it going everybody? Welcome into the channel. This is going to be a three-hole match against my PGA Pro friend Casey. I visited him down in Charleston, South Carolina. Quite the scenes. This is three holes along the water here. We're going to get right into it. Nothing too crazy. We both hit two irons off the first hole here. Par 4, 363. Got to lay up before the fairway ends. Pretty good shot here by Casey. Not too bad. It's going to be a mix of uh, talk over as well as just live of what we had. It was super windy, hitting into about 25 mile an hour winds today on this day. So it was it was quite fun and definitely you have to learn to play in different conditions and especially tough circumstances. Sorry for the audio, obviously I can't protect the wind from the mic, so you will hear a little bit of windy gusts, but this is pretty much what's going on. Casey's grooving. I hit this shot real thin, got a little bit quick and grinded it right through the green into the tree in the back which we'll get to right about here so uh, obviously you can see nice overlooking the bay but just like look at the flag right there it was super windy pretty much bent in half i have a downhill lie in in the bushes not leaving myself something great kind of can't do much and i'm only going to just try to get it up onto the green and it's pretty much just going to roll out there's really no way to stop on these fast bermuda greens but Casey's sitting in a great spot here for birdie. Let's see if uh, the pro can nag the birdie. At the closest of birdie opportunities, but it's still about 35 feet. And uh, let's see if he can give it a go to go one under on the first hole of our little competition here. Now we both play um, kind of just lighthearted games out here, you know, just trying to get our games in rhythm at the start of 2021. But... He's, he's been playing quite a bit, pretty much four or five times a week. This is going to be my fifth round of the year. So I have um, a par save after the rough situation I put myself in. He's going to tap in here for his par. So he's going to stay at even for the day. I have a very tough, tough par make. Got to hit it about 35 feet up this hill. Not promising, but you don't know unless you try. Just a little bit long, got a little bit aggressive with it, just trying to get it there. And, um,. We do play lighthearted, but no gimmies as we get ourselves both ready for competition. Lipped out my little bogey putt right there. It was just like a three foot tap in, but just lipped out. Got a little bit too much of in a hurry onto the next hole. The live par three, which is an island green off the coast. Wind blowing straight in our face. It's uh, playing 153, but like I said, it is about 20, 25 mile an hour winds. Casey's working a little bit on getting his chest more open to target, as you see in his little warm-up here. We both got eight irons in our hand, and that just shows you how strong the winds are for a 153-yard flag, just trying to flight it low. He puts a good cut on it and just pretty much puts it just about 15 feet right of the flag. It's about the best you can do in these situations. It's a super hard flag. We're going to tune over to him to let him talk about my attempt at this hole. Nice shot. Here we have Jesse Warren on the par 317. It's 148, wind off the right, slightly in two. He's got an iron of some sort. Ball's off, it is left going left. If it hits a turtle, it might be on the green. No turtles today. Tidy little chip shot. <laughs> so unfortunate break there. My ball hit that little hill that, that bounces off to the left and it bounced into the thick stuff. So not leaving myself after two holes in a good position, but I'm not gonna edit the video to make myself look better or however I'm playing. I mean, that's not me. That's not exactly how it's gonna go down. So Casey's got another birdie opportunity here. And it's the best thing about being a pro is you always give yourself these opportunities. So let's see what he just comes up a little bit short. He'll stay at even par for another tap in. Now I get to go down to the fun again. 
All right, so we're back over here. Jesse has hit a turtle. It is still in the shit. He's out. He's out. He's on dry land. He's chipping for par. Oh, it'll run past a little ways. We got about eight feet up the hill for par for bo bogey. So, bogey. ran out a little bit on me there, but I got this for the bogey save. Just got to put a confidence stroke on it. But let the wind get in my head, push it a little bit. Don't get it to the hole all the way. We go back to back doubles, but Casey's got a nice par five, 563, absolute smoke missile, stripe show right down the middle. Beautiful draw. You gotta play on camera more often, and kid. And we'll tune back into him. Holy shit, he just murdered it. Stay right. That, sh that should be good. All right, so two absolute fantastic drives here. We both have 260 in. He's got 260, I got 265. I was a little bit more left than him, but we are both got three wood in hand trying to attack this green in two. What you get? He's gonna get a little bit what he asked for though with a nice four out to the right. Hit into the crowds of people who are watching as we come up the 18th here at the Patriot. <laughs> Finished real strong here with a nice three wood just green side left. Not too bad sitting after a double bogey, double bogey. Just, just short left he wants and uh, he'd be very consistent he's been playing this is his sixth round this week this is my fourth fifth fourth round of the year this is my fourth round of the year this is sixth round this week as he lives down here in South Carolina and I mean you can't really beat it whether you're playing good golf or bad golf I just love being out on the course that's all that matters so my game will bump into form double bogey double bogey i'm not hitting terrible shots it's just like small consistent things that i have to clean up but you know i nuked a good three wood there nuked a good driver it's just maintaining and getting reps in that's all what golf is all about and uh you know he's getting a little taste of his own medicine talking trash but he's up there on the right we'll see where he can get up and down on this long 568 yard par five so as you can see casey put it up onto the ridge up there where all the people are having the, on the 19th hole having a couple extra beers socializing he put it right next to somebody who wasn't even paying attention didn't even know the ball was there until he put his bag down so they were all laughing talking but i mean he's just got a nice little chip down a hill try to get close for a nice little birdie which he does successfully get a little cheer from the crowds there i have to go a little chip myself up the hill at this flag. Just trying to close out here with a nice score after going double bogey, double bogey, give myself a good opportunity, look at birdie. So closing in on this last hole as Casey comes in to try to make his birdie here. Just want to thank you all for tuning into this channel. Hope you guys like this video. Definitely leave a comment down below if you guys like these videos and these course vlogs. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also this like button for this video. Casey came up clutch, you know, just to rub it in with the big birdie on the par 5 even though he did hit it way out to the right. It's all about being a pro getting up and down. I got a long birdie putt come up just a little bit short and breaks a little bit at the end but you know it's a good three hole match here good little little game to play but always fun thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos